Hi, this is Tammy with Tammy's Home Tips. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can address your arched window, no pun intended. No, but seriously, if you like this sort of content, I like to go over like construction, um, design, and other challenges that you might have in your home and tackle them with you. So if you like that sort of thing, be sure to subscribe to my channel and we can work on those things together. And I'll even show you how to make that hardware. Let's do it. I know sometimes these arched windows can be challenging. I personally don't like sitting here in the morning when the sun's coming up and getting a sunburn. So I really like to cover the top part, but I wanted something more sheer and I found a really great solution. I actually did it already, but I'm gonna do it again for you. So I have already taken out all of the nails, patched them and painted again. So I could show you right from the beginning exactly what needs to be done. So stick with me and I'll show you how we can make this window beautiful. Even though it's an arched window, it doesn't have to be a challenge. So these are some of the things you're going to need. Of course, you'll need a tabbed curtain, some scissors, string, a pen, two inch nails with the broad head, a hammer, a glue gun, and some decorative knobs. So the first step here is to determine where exactly you want to put your height of your curtain. Of course, you want it to be outside of the arch, and then you'll put a mark there. Next, I just took a string and cut it the length of the distance between that mark and the edge of the window. The next step is to cut a string the length of the distance between the two tabs. These two strings will help you to measure the distance consistently between where you want to put the nails. So what I'm doing is measuring up and I'll be putting a mark there and then measuring to the side and putting a mark there as well. And of course you could use something besides a string, maybe even something stiff would be great to use, like a stick or something like that, but I just happened to use a string. Uh, something more sturdy probably would have been better though, so if you find something that would work like that, then by all means use that. I also want to mention that although there are 10 tabs total between the two curtains, I'm only putting 9 nails in because I will be overlapping the center one. Next thing we need is our nails. As you can see, it's got a very broad head to it, and we're gonna drive those in wherever we had made the uh, markings on the wall. So you only wanna drive the nail in about halfway. Now you're gonna grab whatever hardware you're planning on using, and you're gonna go ahead and put the glue gun glue on there, and you're just gonna try to put as much as you can here on the base of the hardware, and you're gonna put it up and you're gonna continue to add more glue. It's kind of like you're creating an infrastructure there for um, the hardware to stick to, to stay uh, up there. And you're not really gonna be hanging the curtain on the hardware, it's the nail that it's gonna be on, but you do want the hardware to stay. And I haven't had any trouble with this since I've had this on my window for over two years. And I'm just holding it up there about a minute, just make sure it dries enough before I remove my hand. And then you're going to repeat this with basically all the nails and hardware that you're planning on putting up. This is what it looks like now with all the hardware put up. And as you can see, I've already put the uh, regular curtain rod up and I've extended it out so that the decorative part meets up with the hardware above that for the upper part of the curtain so there's more of a continuum. And it's finally time to go ahead and put the curtain up. So I'm draping the bottom part of the curtain over the side as you saw there. And then I'm gonna take this top part and I've brought it in between behind the center of the two curtains below. And I'm going to just go ahead and loop those up there now we're going to have to do a lot more adjusting than this um, once I get all of these up there, but uh, this is the first step. So notice that I've put the second curtain 
in front of the hanging curtain but behind the other side of the upper part of the curtain that's draped over the front and then I'm just hooking them on the same as I did the other side and now it's time to bougie up the front part here and kind of make the top part more taut and the lower part of the draped curtain more relaxed looking. And then you're just gonna connect those upper part and the lower part with the safety pin. And that will be, of course, out of sight on the back side. And then you'll basically rinse and repeat on the other side. And it should look something like this at the end. If you like this sort of content and you like dealing with different challenges that you might have around the home of how am I going to handle this? I have more videos like this coming and I have lots more videos that you can check out on my channel. So I welcome you as a subscriber and I look forward to sharing new videos with you soon. Thanks for watching Tammy's Home Tips.